so this is the date, 1928, that my great-grandfather built the vine house. This is the door, temporary door. As you can see, it was a poured system of cement that they did. And there's rubble in there as well. You can see there's bits of stone and brick in places. I did this repair about 15 years ago because you can see how it's separating. Now this door frame is going to be taken down tomorrow. You can see up there, there, it's very rotten. Look, I can literally take it out with my fingers. But all of this joinery, this was all, look at that. This was placed here by my great grandfather. You can see the join here that's now rotten. We put filler in at one stage. That's filler that I put in a number of years ago, but it's all falling apart. This particular join was probably put in more recently, but this was original to my great grandfather and the construct he did. They literally put the frame in and then these were boards that were placed long ways like that, sheeted, and then they poured the cement down between two sets of boards on either side. So there would have been boards on either side, which is why you can see the lines of where the boards attached. And in some places you can just barely see the grain from the boards they used but they poured the cement in around the door frame and down on either side. And this is going to be the last day, I think, that this door frame is going to be in situ until the new door frame, which is going to be put in tomorrow, Monday. So it's kind of mixed emotions of excitement and pleasure with sadness that something that my great-grandfather had constructed, I am now, uh, I have somebody who's disassembling it to insert something that he has built to replace that and replicate that. And it's nearly, it's nearly a hundred years ago that this is going to happen. You, you want to go out? So it's going to be so exciting and sad to watch this old door frame come down and be replaced. So 90 odd years after my great grandfather put it up. <laughs>